Jordy sign? Did you have a dollar figure in mind if he asked for number 87? No, nah, we're not talking about jerseys no more around here. <laughs> Some people get sensitive about jerseys around here, so we're not going to say nothing about that no more, man. Jared, what does he bring, though, to, the, to this offense in general? Um, a vet presence that you can't coach, um, just knowledge of the game, great route running, great speed, great timing. Uh, you know, when I was in Green Bay, a lot of the guys looked up to Jordy, and he played a huge, huge role in our offense. Uh, not just as a player, but as a person in the locker room. So, uh, you know, just 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 the all-around uh, person that he is, and the aspects and his insight to the game that he brings um, is huge for our team, and especially for a young receiving core that we have. It's pretty huge. How much have you been around Rudy, if at all, before, and what's that experience been like so far? Uh, never been around him before. Uh, you know, it, it's been pretty awesome to have him here. Uh, he brings knowledge to the game, that, and we're learning things about uh, not only current football, but old football that I haven't learned in my 10 years in the league. So uh, not only knowledge of the game, but just energy. Every day he brings energy. He makes it fun for us, but he, he makes us work, which is good. He makes us uh, get everything out of us mentally and physically, which is what we need. What do you mean, older football? How does he present that? Man, he bringing up film from like 1976 <laughs> when you didn't even think they had film, man. <laughs> like grainy film where you can barely see the players. Uh, but he, he has that knowledge. Uh, he's been watching film since he was a kid. He's been in the league since he was a kid. So everything that, that you're seeing and everything that he's teaching you, the plays he's teaching you, the things he's putting in, is, is things from his background, not only current background, but like predates 87, which is when I was born. Is ball ball, are you able to get what he's trying to serve in terms of the grainy film? Like, is, does the message come through? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are actually like plays that we're putting in and schemes that we're running uh, that are older schemes. And uh, he's bringing players in to talk to us. Ricky Dudley's been a huge influence on me uh, just from knowing him from uh, OTAs and Kemp, just talking to him every day. I'm in his ear asking him questions because he's been part of his offense and he knows. So it's things like that that Gruden's introducing us to that uh, that we have never had before. It's pretty awesome. Hey, you've been here a couple years now and you know where things are, you know Napa, you know some of that, but does it kind of feel like it's your first year in some sense because of all the change that's happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like that every time I hit a new team or there's a coaching change or offensive playbook change, uh, I feel like that all the time. And it, essentially it is. Every year you have to prove yourself, every year you have to come out here and uh, and show what you got, show who you are. How's that been for you? Because you've dealt with a lot of change. I'm not tripping. It's, it's part of the game now, you know. Uh, the moving, the the, the change in, in personnel, the, off, the, the playbook changes, family changes, all that, it's part of the game at this point, you know. You just have to come out here and focus and do your job. Do you will change this offense much, or is it pretty much what it's been since you got here? Uh, roles change all the time. Uh, it, it really never stays the same because uh, week in and week out, uh, your offense is going to change. So you're lined up in different positions and doing different things. You have different plays in every week, so really your roles never ever stay the same. Would it be fair to say that you're doing this offense that you haven't done before? Um, some things, some things. So it's challenging you a little bit. Oh yeah, he. I mean, Coach Gruden gonna challenge everybody. He always gonna challenge you. He 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 lines you up and um, he sends you through a gauntlet of plays, and he expects you to get every single one of them right. So he's always challenging you to get better. He's always challenging you mentally and physically, uh, but mostly mentally. He wants to make sure that every time you line up on Sunday, your mind is in the right place. You know where to line up, and you know how to do your job and do it well. And what you've seen from Amari in the past and now this camp, what what do you think he needs to do, or how close is he to making that next jump into, you know, I don't know if it's the elite class, but the top-level wide receivers? You know, Amari's out here working. and. Um, He's getting better, and I think Jordy's going to be a huge influence on him. I think EB's going to be a huge influence on him. Uh, those guys know a lot of football. EB is coach receivers for a minute. So uh, I think him grabbing on him and even Coach Olsen, 
him uh, getting in those guys' pockets, and those those guys can help Amari out a lot in his growth as a young player. Now that you know, Derek has said after the season, you know, maybe the back injury hindered him a little more. Does he look any different to you? Why why do you think, from what you've seen so far, he can bounce back from last year? Uh, Derek looks like a completely different person in my eyes. Uh, just from the way he's attacking the game, just from the way he's attacking the challenges that uh, that Gruden's been giving to him. Every time Gruden asks him a question, he get it right, no hesitation. Every time Gruden asks him to get up in front of a meeting room and call out a play, run a play, get to the right check, um, get to the right audible, he does it every time. And that's a responsibility that Derek never had last year. And uh, you see a totally different player out of him. He's attacking the game different mentally, and he has a totally different attitude going into this year. How did, how did an offensive minded head coach for so long? How much do you think that's part of it? They're huge. It's totally different. Uh, I think when you can put the people in place, um, when you're not on one side of the ball, on the other side of the ball, you can put people in place that can actually handle uh, the challenges thrown at them and that can handle uh, putting together an offense or defense, I think that's important to a team. Um, and with Coach Gruden being our head coach, he's not spending as much time with the defense. So, and this is one of my first times having an offensive head coach, but he trusts Paul Gunther with his life to make sure that that defense is right. Even though he's not spending time over there, he trusts that Paul Gunther is going to handle his business. So having him over on our side of the ball, uh, which is different from last year, is huge. Um, and you're hearing everything from the horse's mouth, you know? Everything he wants, you're hearing it directly from him. So there's no confusing. There's no, uh, no kind of lull in communication. Everything that you hear is from him, so you know how he wants it. You can get it done. You can get the job done faster. There's, there's no more time to waste. It's just straight to the point. Derek said a lot of the offensive skill guys made a point of getting together uh, during the summer for like informal workouts to make sure that you guys were ready to come here and run the system when you got here. Were you a part of any of those workouts and was it, was it Nah, valuable? I wasn't, but a lot of those guys did get together. Uh, a lot of those guys did stay on, stay in the playbook and get right. A lot of them went to uh, Southern Cal and got work in with EJ. So uh, we kept in touch, we kept in communications, but uh, we're here now, that's all that matters. A lot of the free agents the Raiders have brought in this year are veteran players, guys up around 30. And Gruden's talked about what he likes about that. Is that a positive in your eyes? Heck yeah, it's a positive. Uh, it brings, it, it, it helps the maturity of this team. Uh, when you got young guys, especially nowadays, young guys just don't get what the NFL is about. Like even something as simple as veteran, uh, veteran presidents, uh, veteran presence, and veteran leadership—they don't understand that. Uh, veteran respect—they don't—they don't necessarily get, get that. So having vets in the locker room and having vets around you that uh, that know the, know the role, know how things go, uh, and that hold other people accountable—and that's the biggest thing: accountability. Holding other people accountable for their actions is huge. You can't buy that. You can't buy that anywhere because vets know how it's supposed to be done and they're going to get it done the right way it's supposed to be.